Unfortunately, was very windy, but uh, let's get going on some questions. For me, I think that's the only way to dance. I think once you, uh, as you, as you improve your skills, you don't really want to dance any worse than the best that you can do. Right. Yeah, I guess that well, makes sense. <laughs> the motivation for me, I guess maybe what they're referring to is that um, as a social dancer, I guess it's more fun and you get to enjoy the social aspect of it. But as a, at a high level, it's more about, um, I guess, enjoying the learning process and refining certain skills. Um, I think that that's what motivates me. We are, we're we always together, aren't we? We're always together. <laughs> no, we were actually dating before we uh, started dancing together. We've actually cancelled everything, all of our plans. We had um, flights booked for Blackpool, which we cancelled. Um, if we'd actually gone on that trip, if uh, this whole thing hadn't happened, then we would have actually been in England for over a week now already. I yeah, think. we had to cancel a whole heap of lessons. Um, we were doing quite, had quite a few comps planned for that England trip as well. Um, so I think that's all. I've been dancing since I was eight. And I was 10, so that's... 18 years. 18 years, really? Yeah. And you? Mm, yeah, <laughs> How good's your maths? Maybe 16 years. 16 15, years. 15, 16 That's good. years. There you go. I don't know about favourite. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't think I have a favourite step. I do know that I like to change steps all the time. I like to change <laughs> choreography. I think I get board of steps quite quickly but yeah not a favorite step no I don't think so either you know what I love when I do outside spin and we absolutely nail it that's an amazing step feels great to, to do really well, well every step feels great when you <laughs> when you nail it yeah yeah I didn't think I liked competing as much but now that the competitions have been taken away. I, I realize how much I absolutely love competing. Well, competing gives us most of our goals. Yeah. You know, like we, we really set goals for ourselves for different times of the year and for different competitions. So it sets up our calendar for the year. As yeah, well, not having it? a competition in, in mind. I guess what I miss about it most is like. Um, uh, it's really a checkpoint for how, how well you're tracking, how good your dancing's doing. Um, I yeah. think that's important. Yeah. I think the judges look for overall just beautiful dancing. I think that's um, the, the uh, if we quote exactly what they are looking for, it's overall proficiency in all five dances. <laughs> But um, I think when it comes down to it, it's really the impression that you make. You want to make... Uh, um, you want beautiful shapes, beautiful movement, beautiful timing. Coordination, musicality, that type of thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I actually work as a uh, consultant. I have a communications degree and so I work for a few different um, organisations and help with um, all sorts of communication things. 
Uh, that's basically my main job and I do quite a bit of teaching outside of that. And for you? Uh, yeah, for me, I, I only teach. It's my, uh, it's what I do. Full-time dance teacher. So this varies a lot. <laughs> it really depends whether you're doing um, competitions in your own country or if you are traveling interstate or internationally etc yeah and the different um, event organizers have very different rules about entries and entry fees so mm. some some competitions we do in australia are actually where are you going <laughs> I'm back. we've got a new gimbal so jordan's still learning he's like slowly out of shot yeah we do some competitions that are free uh, Particularly in Australia, they have some free competitions, but uh, the do they completely free entry? Some, <laughs> some, some. I can't either. think of yeah. any. But but most of them do charge. Some of them charge like per dance or per event. The great thing is sometimes you can offset um, the cost of the entry with prize money. So sometimes it's worth considering if you might make a little bit of prize money that can that can cover the entry. Um, I think that helps, especially in Australia. Yep. I'm doing a lot of cycling, actually. Uh, I used to cycle when I was younger, and now that we're back in Melbourne, I've been uh, riding with my brother and my dad sometimes, and I actually went for a really long ride this morning, so I'm a, a bit tired He's today. He's exhausted. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's mostly what I do, but some gym still I do. Yeah, I've been doing um, a lot of yoga actually, uh, some bar classes which are always fun to do um, and we've been trying to do as much dancing as we possibly can, just as much as we can fit in in the small spaces that we have. But it's not so much exercise for us, it's more just practicing Make, and improving. Making sure we're remembering our choreography and making sure that we're still taking hold and that the, the hold fits and works for us. We would hate to come back out of uh, quarantine and not be able to take hold again. So it's a really important part for us. Yeah. yeah. Well, it depends whether it's a successful competition or a not so successful competition. Mm -hmm. But for me, I normally like to sit back and have a, a drink or two, I think. To be honest, I don't really, other than taking, ripping off my eyelashes, taking out my hairpins and having a shower, I don't really do anything else. I think at the end of a competition day, I just want to get rid of all of that yeah. hairspray and that makeup. It's not very comfortable. <laughs> That's my unwind. And we uh, tend to be very tired, so we, we tend to go to sleep pretty, pretty quick. Yeah, just get out of the hair and makeup get into bed <laughs> that's the routine uh, <laughs> i don't know i don't think i have a favorite dance do you? i think we we tend to practice waltz and foxtrot the most just because i think um i don't know they require the most <laughs> skill or something um i don't know that they're our favorites though they seem to be probably the ones that we spend the most time on yeah i would yeah. say <laughs> but in terms of favorites i think i enjoy lots of, i enjoy most of them even when we get to the end of a final for example and we have to do its quick step i'm fine with that i'm pretty excited by it um i get i just try to get into the music even if i'm very very tired um and they're all quite fun in their own way <laughs> That's an easy question. Are you answering? No, you no. are. <laughs> so the last country we visited was uh, England. We went to London for a week for lessons in February. At the end of February, and uh, that was actually we came back to Australia literally just before they closed the borders. I think yeah, maybe a week I, or two. When we left, um, the virus had hit Wuhan, and it was massive. It was slowly. Um, growing, I think it had reached um, a few of the Asian countries, but hadn't spread any further at that point. Uh, so we thought it would be okay to visit England, um, and then by the time we got back, it was spreading it was quite rapidly. Bad, yeah. yeah. So my biggest achievement would, um, 
I don't think it would really be results driven so much. I guess I'm just proud of the fact that we, um, of how much we've developed as dancers, that we're, um, you know, one of the finalists, pro ballroom finalists in Australia. Um, we, I'm glad that we get the chance to represent Australia overseas. It's, um, that, I'm pretty proud of that. Yeah, for me, I think the biggest achievement, I think, for our dancing is sometimes we've been uh, in difficult situations and had to make difficult decisions about our dancing, and I think that we've not shied, shied away from making tough decisions, um, and I think that's helped us to get to where we are now. I think uh, it's very easy to take the path of least resistance, and... Sometimes that's good and we've done that and sometimes we haven't and I'm proud that we've made the decisions that we have Yeah, I mean there's always There's always gonna be um, Options to to really decide what path you want to go down and how you want your dancing to grow and sometimes They are difficult decisions and you don't know what's the right answer, but um, Yeah, we have to, we have made quite a few big decisions in our career and I think we um, have grown and become better dancers for it so that's a lot of our questions. I hope you enjoyed this change in scenery. We are allowed outside to do a little bit of exercise. So we thought it would be a nice opportunity once a beautiful day here in Melbourne to uh, walk around near the city and um, answer some questions. We really enjoy getting out uh, in the sun um, today and we hope you've enjoyed these answers to our questions and yeah, we'll see you in the next video.